Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. The number of tweets, the number of DMs, the number of comments. Y'all have sent carrier pigeons. Y'all have sent like henchmen to beat me up. Y'all have just been harassing me about Hannibal season two. So we're gonna finally watch Hannibal season two. I've just accepted in my heart that there's no escaping cannibalism on this channel. I, I managed to escape it for a hot second when I watched the notebook, but that was a different type of horror. So yeah, so I'm, I'm very, very excited to get into this. I cannot wait to see what season two is going to bring because not just like people that watch my videos, just like even people in, in my personal life that I've spoken to about Hannibal have said that season two and season three, like basically if, if I was blown away by season one, I'm probably gonna die with season two because season two is apparently some of the most outlandish, crazy, insane, wonderful, creative storytelling that you'll ever see on television and season three apparently. So the last time we watched, we left my boy will in prison because Hannibal's ass framed him and I'm not okay with that because y'all know that I love will I love Will, but I also kind of love Hannibal I'm curious to see what Hannibal's been up to I mean probably just you know con continuing to eat people's livers and shit I hope my my boy will even though he's in prison I hope they gave him a nice comfy room and he's been okay and is you know is he stabilized a little bit I could give two fucks about what happens to Jack because Jack sucked and the only other one that I need to see what she's been up to is Miss Alana Bloom because y'all know I also love Alana Bloom and then the only other thing that I want to say before we start the video is if you watch my reactions to season one, you'll see that there was two episodes per video. Moving forward for Wednesdays when I release like a TV episode, it's going to be one single episode each week. The reason for me doing that is editing is a lot of work. Editing is very, very time consuming. And each video, like for instance, just like, like a standard two hour movie, it's probably about eight to nine hours worth of editing per video. I'm trying to have a life. I got friends. I got a job. I have animals and occasionally I just want to sit on the couch and scratch my ass. I figured I'd take a step back and just switch from two episodes on Wednesday to one. But, you know, for for you guys, it kind of works out because you'll be able to see me react to more of each individual episode, which was actually something that you guys commented quite a bit saying like, Hey, you missed this part. You missed this part. I see all the parts. I watched the entire episode, but copyright is a thing and she's a bitch. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can get notified for when I upload something. You could also feel free to check me out on social media. I have both Instagram and Twitter. And no, I will not send you feet pics, so stop asking. And you can check out my Patreon. You'll get access to exclusive polls to help me pick what I watch next and full-length audio commentaries and more cool stuff. Try to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm mentally preparing myself. And without further ado, let's get into season two, episode one of Hannibal. Literally, that's how they start. I mean, of course, that's how they start. <laughs> of course. Ooh, that was a cool shot. Ooh, there we go again. We're like 30 seconds in and they are serving with the visuals already, man. Holy, holy shit. What the hell is happening? This is a dream or something, right? This has to be a dream. Is it bad that I, like, I don't care who wins? There's a problem that gets solved regardless of who kills each other. <laughs> I was kind of into that, though. That was pretty dope. Y'all, Jack is kind of f***ing him up, but I'm here for it. But I feel like Hannibal's gonna come in at the last minute, but Jack is f***ing him up. <laughs> no, no, I think Hannibal's uh, pretending like he's unconscious. Yep, figured as much. 12 weeks earlier. So that did happen? <gasps> or that's going to happen? 12 weeks. Is there 12 episodes or 13 episodes? Like, is each episode supposed to last a week, I wonder? Ew, what the f*** is that? What is that? Is that like human meat? I don't even know. Ugh. I almost feel guilty about eating it. I never feel guilty eating anything. Mmm. I can't quite place the fish. He was a flounder. Oh God, he, oh no, it was a person. He said he was a flounder. 
will is a loss and we're mourning a death. Will's death is on me. It's on both of us. Okay, so he's not dead. Why are they saying Will's death? That just, don't, don't play with me like that. Are they talking about like death, like, like the death sentence? Y'all better not. Oh, that is stunning. Look how gorgeous that is. <gasps> Will. My Will. Oh man, this fucking deer again. I'm not okay with that. Not okay with that. I said, how does that make you feel? I'm sitting in a dunking tank. You're my patient now, Will. Oh my God, he's his patient. Well, he's real f now. Law and order over here, and he's not gonna help him. Twisted, bad, trash. That's terrifying, but it's gorgeous. Whoever did like the makeup and the design and stuff like this for that monster and for the, the death scenes and the gore and stuff like that, like top notch. You were warned against putting someone with Will Graham's issues into the field. He was. Yes. Were you aware that Dr. Bloom would be filing this report? Isn't that, um, is she, isn't she from Sex and the City? I've never watched Sex and the City other than the episode that Sarah Michelle Gellar was on. You, you are such a loser. You're a loser. You are loser. I'm kidding. What a loser. I never stated anywhere that this was misconduct. In my opinion, it was a lapse in judgment. A lapse in judgment is misconduct. Yes. I would greatly appreciate it if you would recant your report. No, Will Graham's life has been destroyed. How that happened has to be a matter of record. Exactly. D d no, don't try to cover this up and protect Jack. Absolutely not. This is going to get ugly. It already is. Yeah, it, it, Will is literally in prison right now. I think it got very ugly. <laughs> you know what's bad <laughs> is when the body first popped up, I was like, that's, you know, it's gross, but it's it's not too bad. But then he ripped half of his fucking face off, and then I was like, yep, we're back to Hannibal. We're back to Hannibal. Will Graham has asked to see me. I would like to see him. Oh, this fabulous woman. Oh, she's fabulous. You are obsessed with Will Graham. I'm intrigued. Obsessively. First of all, she looks stunning per usual. Is Hannibal, like... Look, 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 I'm not like coming at this from like the, the typical like gay man, I want to see all the men love each other, which would be fine. But am I picking up on hints that Hannibal kind of has like romantic feelings for Will? Or is it literally just he like he relates to him because they're both kind of psychologically messed up? He sees his own mentality as grotesque but useful. He can't repress who he is. That's an honesty in that I admire. True. What can't you repress, Hannibal? His hunger. Damn, he looks good even in prison. Good for him. I mean, not good for him that he's in prison. I used to hear my thoughts inside my skull. Now my inner voice sounds like you. What? Why? Our conversations were only ever about you opening your eyes to the truth of who you are. Which he did. I'm going to remember. And when I do, there will be a reckoning. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait as much as I like Hannibal because he's a very interesting, complex character. I hope we'll fucks him up. I try to leave an indelible mark wherever I go. Hopefully not with your DNA. I feel like he just did something, because he looked down after she left. I feel like she left the, the swab on the counter and he just switched the swab. The beauty of what you do, Miss Katz, is in its certainty. It'll be your evidence that convicts well. Yeah, he just did something to the swab. As, as much as these like characters are intelligent, like they're also kind of dumb. If you're taking a sample from somebody who's a potential suspect, why would you immediately walk away from them and leave the sample out of your eyeline? You're not a suspect. You're the new Will Graham. The new Will Graham? Someone went through a lot of trouble to make sure that they were well preserved. The big one was partially sealed, rotting from the inside out. Ew. Well, they injected with silicone. Technique for making resin coated models out of fish. Helps the body retain shape in death. Ew, that's so gross. I've always found taxidermy disgusting. Like, that's disgusting that you're putting a dead living creature, or like a, like a dead thing on your wall. Ugh. No, no, that's, no, that's not cute. That's a, that's a warning sign. I'm giving you informed consent to discuss me as your patient. For why? I consulted at an FBI crime scene. I stood in Will's shoes. Get out of my shoes. Looked through his eyes and I saw death. Oh, I imagined he would see it. He, he seemed really into that, like this idea of being Will. You maintain an air of transparency. 
while putting me in a position to lie for you. You're not just lying for me. Because we, we we still don't really know the whole backstory with like the patient that uh, attacked her, right? But also, she, I'm kind of like getting hints that perhaps she knows that like Hannibal might be a little guilty. I don't know. There's just something in the way like like her expressions and the way she looks at him. Like I have a feeling she kind of knows. Oh my God, she's taking care of Will's dogs. <sighs> the others are adjusting. Where's Winston go? Home. He's waiting for Will. Your mind was on fire. You had no control of what you were doing, much less remember doing it. What if I could remember? But how would you remember? Because you didn't do it and you weren't there when Hannibal did it, so how would you remember? Have you ever helped a patient recover memories? Ooh, see what scares me about this is she, if she's gonna try to help him recover memories, that means that she's gonna become a target for Hannibal because Hannibal's gonna be like, uh, you ain't exposing me. And if he kills her? I mean, this is cool, but like, what the hell? Ew. Oh no. Oh, the ear, the ear. He fucking vomited at the ear in the last episode. <laughs> what did you see? Hell. It's rare that I cook a meatless meal. I lost a kidney. I have to watch my protein intake. You didn't lose it, Frederick. It was taken from you. Oh yeah, I forgot that other killer literally removed organs from him and he's just up and walking around. Ugh, I thought he was gonna die. You do realize you're his favorite topic of conversation, Hannibal, Hannibal, Hannibal. He tells everyone that you are a monster. But in that case, you are dining with a psychopathic murderer, Frederick. He is, he is. Have nice skin. Ugh, what a fucking weird. Who ill? Who was that? Skin? <gasps> Is it Buffalo Bill? No, Buffalo Bill likes women. No, no, come on, this is so obvious that they're luring you outside and then you just left the door to the apartment open. Seriously, people have no fucking common sense. See? See? Fucking idiot. Oh god, what is he sewing together? Oh wait, he's coating him with something. Isn't this what the, the bodies that they found in the lake, they said... <laughs> Was that Donald Logue? All adults, but men and women, different ages, different ethnicities, all from different states. That is nasty. We found traces of BHT, which is a color preservative. He wants them to look alive. I mean, I hate to break the bad news to them, but they don't look alive. Yeah, because, you know, this this is nasty, but, like, compared to some of the shit that they showed last season with, like, you know, like, the uh, crime of the week episode with that guy with a fucking tongue coming out of his throat or or him sawing that guy's face off or the, the, the penises and, and, and the angel skin flap, bleh. This is nasty, but this is pale in comparison to the previous shit. But I'm sure there's more coming. You have the file with you? Yes. And pictures? Yes. Which file? The first six bodies were found in the same place. Dumped in a river, caught in a beaver dam. They're having him still do that stuff while he's in prison? Didn't y'all learn that he shouldn't be doing that? Tell me what you see. It's a color palette. What? Look, look, look how smart he- Oh, he's so smart. He's so smart. He's so smart. But what? He, seem, he seems to be fine eating whatever that mysterious brown meat was, but I'm assuming, like he knows that Hannibal is a killer, but he doesn't know that Hannibal is a cannibal, right? What the f What the f is he doing? Ew. Oh my god, this is how he gets the ear down his throat. That, that, oh. Oh, I take it back. I said there wasn't gonna be sh the, the, the bodies. This is sicker than the bodies. That's uh, uh, uh. 
Thank you, Miss Alana Bloom, because now he's getting his memories back. Ugh, that is so gnarly gross. Blech. This is sick. This is sick. Do you feel regret? Do you feel like you made mistakes? Because you did. He did. He did. Hi, right, Winston. Come here, boy. Winston. I suppose you blame me too, huh? Everybody blames you. Because you're to blame. Hello, Jack. I think guilt's catching up to him a little bit. I understand why you felt you had to file that report. You questioned my judgment when it needed to be questioned. I low-key feel like your, your judgment needs to be questioned all the time. Declaring Hannibal's guilt is more important to Will. Hannibal's not guilty. <laughs> but he's clinging to the hope Hannibal did this so he doesn't have to face what he did. No, no, oh, oh God, no. You know what? Let me have faith that they'll figure it out. Let me, let me have faith. I would really like to be convinced a lot. Beth wouldn't be so scared of the truth. Will's terrified, but that's not stopping him from trying to find it. But see, what I don't want is I don't want Hannibal finding out that Dr. Bloom is working on Will's memory because that other shady SVU motherfucker has been watching on the camera, so undoubtedly he's going to go back and tell Hannibal that Bloom has been there trying to recover his memories. Alana's going to become a target. I have nothing to prove to myself or, or anyone else that Hannibal was responsible. Not even a memory. You do now. You've recovered a memory? Yes. And it's a gnarly one. I can't hear this anymore. Let Hannibal's dumbass kill Jack. Eliminate him, get him out of the picture. Remove him from the playing board. Cause he's fucking useless. You may not believe me now. You will. In 12 weeks he will, when he's going toe to toe with Hannibal. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that from the beginning of the Never mind. I'm talking about, you know, Jack getting murderlated. It's gonna happen in 12 weeks. I just gotta wait. Oh, no, 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 please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh, no, this is some House of Wax shit. Ah! All right, y'all, so that was season two, episode one of Hannibal. What the f***? It was nice to be back. It was nice to catch up with these characters and see what they've been doing since season one. Jack is still useless, but I am curious to see what is going to lead up to the giant brawl that we saw in the opening of the episode. Because they were whooping each other's ass, but it looked like Hannibal got the, the last laugh there. And even though Jack is technically the good guy and Hannibal's the bad guy, I wouldn't mind if he killed Jack. Like they can just kill each other at this point. As long as Will gets out of jail. Look, look, Will needs to get out of jail move in with Alana on the farm, take care of Winston and the other dogs, adopt me, I'll, you know, take care of the grounds and they could feed me chicken nuggets. A, a perfect life, one without cannibalism. Will is obviously in prison, but he seems to be more, le less like I'm mentally breaking down right now. And he's more like, I have a sense of clarity that I haven't had in a while. So now I'm working on getting these memories back so I can cannibal up and get out of here. At least like my emotions can chill a little bit with Will, knowing that he's at least in a safe spot for a while. You know, I spoke too soon by saying that, you know, while the gross floating dead bodies were gross, sure, that it wasn't gonna be that big of a, you know, it wasn't as, comparatively to the first season, it wasn't as gross of like crime scenes. I mean, it is gross. It, it, it isn't as um, aggressively gross to like look at, but that last shot, that was a stunning visual with all the people like, resin super glued together in a color palette way to make it look like a eyeball. That was fucking wild. <sighs> All right, let me know what you guys thought about this episode and I will see you back next Wednesday for episode two of season two. Bye.